in the ramen, you gotta do it with love, you gotta do it with care. So me, I just like that. Ayo, what's goody? It's your boy, The Little Lavish. You guys already know that today. We're back again with another video. You dig? You dig? You dig? You dig? You dig? Rub them hands. Rub them hands. Rub them hands. Yo, today I'm back with another banger, banger, banger. Today I'm going to be switching it up. I'm going to be doing something new. Um, You know, I've been trying to do YouTube, everything. You know, I've been trying to become a nice content creator for you guys. But apparently this is not working out. So today, your boy's going to be becoming a brand new profession. As you guys probably already tell from the title. Today, your boy is going to be a chef. Now this is just an intro. Y'all going y'all gonna to meet Chef Lavish. See, right now I'm just the Lord Lavish. <laughs> but y'all going to meet Chef Lavish in a bit. So, hey, if you guys like this type of content... Let me know down below. Make sure you leave a big thumbs up. And also let me know more professions you guys want me to try. Should I be a barber? Should I work at McDonald's? Should I try to go to Walmart? Who knows? I could try to be anything. I could be anything. You could be anything you put your mind to. But today, we a chef. So make sure you leave a big thumbs up. And let's get to the video. Subscribe if you feel the vibe. Let's get it. You at... What's going on? It's your host with the most, Chef Lavish. And today, you guys are here in my chef kitchen. Today, we are gonna be cooking up my specialty, ramen el de pollo. <laughs> yes. I'm gonna be going over the special, special, special recipe that I have when cooking my chef ramen pollo and all the tools and accessibilities that you guys need at home to be able to be a chef like me, yes. So, let's go ahead and jump into the video. Let's get it, yo. Hey, how's it going? So here, yeah, we're here by the sink. Um, the first thing you wanna do is you wanna wash your hands. You know, we're a real sanitary place here. You're just gonna go ahead and grab some of your Dawn dish soap, do some of that, just scrub in, and you're gonna get the cleaning. You gotta get the cleaning here. The next thing, the next thing you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to go to your, uh, you want to go ahead and go to your refrigerator here. So we're gonna go ahead, open this thing up. As you see, I keep, I keep a loaded fridge, so y'all ain't even gotta worry about me. I'm a chef. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go ahead and grab some of the chicken right here. Boom. Is this chicken? This is pre-seasoned chicken, but I already got my own seasonings and mixes. This, so with that, I'm gonna go ahead and hook that up. But as y'all guys can see right here, give you guys a little look right there. That's what we got right here. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna let this thaw out real quick, um, and then we're gonna get to it. See, when thawing out meat, you really wanna get it nice and soaking wet. You want that thing dripping, you want that thing in there. So I like to put a little bit of hot water on my meat. Yeah, you know, do some of that. Boom, bam, boom. And then that's gonna go ahead. Oh, why am I not in the camera? Camera. So what I like to do is I like to get my meat nice and soaking wet. You get like that. I like to get my meat nice and soaking wet because we need to get this thing defrosted. It's frozen, it's been frozen for so long. You wanna put the hot water on there. Boom, bam, boom. Like your mama told you to bring the freaking chicken out two hours ago, but you just did it 10 minutes ago. You're gonna put the hot water on. Believe. The next thing you're gonna wanna do, the next thing is you wanna go to your secret ramen stash. Now, I, because I trust you guys, I'm gonna show you guys my ramen stash, but you guys don't do, you know, don't be teaching people where you keep your ramen. Uh, you're gonna go ahead. You, you're gonna go ahead and get to your secret ramen stash. Boom, bam. See, this This is top tier right here. This is top tier. This is the stuff they have in all the top restaurants, Applebee's, Olive Garden, everywhere fancy. You wanna go ahead and you wanna grab yourself two packs of ramen. You know why? Cause one's a snack, two's a heart attack. <laughs> Believe. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and grab two of those right there. Bang, bang, boom, boom. Then the next thing you're gonna wanna do, you wanna grab a pot. See, I, 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 I stay with the pot. 
I keep the pants. I would the never mind. But yeah, you wanna go ahead. You wanna fill this up with nice warm water. Like I'm doing. If, if you are doing this step for step, make sure you hold on to that top. We, we don't want no accidents. Alright, that's enough water. Let me show you what it's supposed to look like. You guys see this? Some little something like that. You want just enough water. And then you're gonna go ahead and put it on the stove like that. Then you wanna go ahead and grab your ramen packs. You wanna go ahead, see you wanna you, you when you when you open in the ramen, you gotta do it with love, you gotta do it with care. So me, I just like that. I like to do that. But you guys can open your ramen any way you want. And then you're gonna just boom, over there, boom, just put it in a pot. Come look at this, look at this. Can you see the pot? That's perfection right there. Hold up, my apron's falling down. <laughs> That's perfection. And if you guys wanna be perfected like me, I'll follow these steps. Whoa, step bro, what are you guys doing in my room? Nah, I'm just playing. All right, so now that everything is defrosting and debroiling, you wanna go ahead to the part of the section I call as the waiting period. See, we gotta wait for the meat to dry up and get hard and nice and broccoli because, you know, you can't eat cold meat, you know? <laughs> well, at least I can't eat raw meat. <laughs> um, and then you want your noodles to start baking and broiling, so, this is the part where you're gonna just go ahead and play PlayStation and play Xbox. Um, you'll know when your food's ready um, because you'll smell burning coming from the kitchen. Don't worry about that. Noodles don't start fires anyway. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and play Xbox. Now uh, I'll probably stream on Twitch and then I'm gonna go back and finish the meal. All right, so I started seeing smoke coming from my kitchen mid game and uh, like I said, this is what you're waiting for right here. You're waiting for this type of smoke and then you know that your food is ready. Um, you wanna go ahead and grab a cooking utensil like I'm gonna do. Yeah, you just wanna go ahead and mix like I'm doing. Go ahead and mix those up. Mix those up. All right. Then you wanna go ahead, put you guys down and wait. See? Then you wanna go ahead and get your seasoning package. Get your seasoning pack, it's like I'm about, my, my apron. Get your seasoning packets, and you wanna go ahead and put this inside the pot like I'm doing here. Oh, hey. Dang, got a tweet. There you go. I can kind of see. There you go. Mm -hmm. Like I'm doing. I'm a professional chef, as you guys can see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I want to turn that down, though. And then... You're going to want to have to get your pepper. Let's see that. Get your pepper because this this is crucial right here. Mm-hmm. Because you need spice in that thing. You need spice. And then you just want to go ahead. Hold up. Let me make sure I can see what, what am I doing. You just want to go ahead and mix that up. Mm-hmm. You guys see that? You see that? Yours might not look as good as mine's because I am a professional chef. But if I were you guys, I would definitely look into. All right. Then we're gonna go ahead and check on the meat. Ooh, yeah, that meat. That meat's meaty. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. We're gonna let it. Uh, just let it get some more water on it. 
mind the dirty dishes. Hey, bro, if you don't have dirty dishes, you ain't a real. I'm gonna put the top on there so it savor the flavors. See that? Put the top on there, savor the flavors. Now I'm gonna get back with y'all. But y'all still watching me. I'm gonna get with y'all. Yeah, the chicken took too long to uh, defrost, so I'm not gonna make it. But, pretty smack. And that's cooking with lavish. If you guys want more tips on how to cook delicious food like me, um, stay tuned. Subscribe if you feel the vibe. If you don't subscribe, I die. I'm trying to reach 100K. We gonna reach 100K any day. Let me show y'all the finished product. Look at that. Bam. <laughs> hey, man. We almost had 10,000 subscribers. <clears throat> if, hey, whoever my 10,000 subscriber, let me know, and I'm going to send you a bowl of ramen noodle. But until then, it's your boy, the Lord Lavish. I'll see you guys in the next video. You're at. I shower in the morning, and I shower at night. I feel like Jordan cause I'm about to take flight I shower in the morning and I shower at night Got the packs of my life I shower in the morning and I shower at night I feel like Jordan cause I'm about to take